Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. I'm excited today uh, for two reasons. I've got a new soap and um, I just got my one of, well, I got three razors back from um, Frank at Strike Gold Shave. He uh, rehoned all of them for me. So I'm excited to use both of those. Um, Artisan that I've never used before. This is 11 shaving. Uh, used to be Sapon de Paolo, I believe. Um, and now they're 11 shaving. Um, this is the Sicilian lemon. Beautiful, fresh lemon zest scent. Um, but not harsh. Not harsh like a lot of lemon zest kind of scents are. This is kind of, seems kind of like a balance between um, sweet and sour. But very nice. And my cat Grady seems to like it. You can hear him yelling at me. Mm. <clears throat> can't wait to get into this we'll go ahead and put some hot water on top of that and let it soak for a minute and so I got three of my four straight razors honed by Frank at Strike Gold Shave um, I sent them to him last week and I've got them back this week this is a Alexander Birmingham that was piffed to me from a wonderful gentleman Benjamin Nielsen out of Missouri. Benny Ben, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. So this is the first uh, the first straight razor that I have ever owned. This was what got me into straight razor shaving. I was trying to find, um, you know, where I could just buy a, a cheap honed razor so I could just kind of see if I like this or not. Um, and Ben took this out of his, out of his personal stash um, and sent it to me. It's extremely, extremely nice sentiment um, and it got me started on this journey so thank you again Ben it's awesome uh, my brush today is gonna be Razor Rock Synthetic Big Bruce but you guys know I love this I love this brush holds a lot of soap nice backbone super super soft tips on it um, after shave today to go to keep going on the lemon theme is Agua de Limon from Mirsol and my scent today is going to be a lemon and lemon forward scent as well, which is Christian Dior Eau Sauvage EDT. Not to be confused with Sauvage, doesn't smell anything like that. This is a beautiful freshie um, that's been around for a long time. I mean, of course, it's been reformulated um, over the times, but I believe that came out in the 40s. 40s or 50s is when the original Eau Sauvage came out. So wonderful, wonderful scent there. All right, you've seen how long this has been soaking, just a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna get some of this soaking water onto my face and we'll get to lathering. Mm, beautiful, crisp, fresh lemon scent. Very nice. some alum on my fingers so I can get some grip it's officially been so long since I've gotten a haircut now that I can no longer um, comb it forward and then up in the front it's just too long for that so it's all going back now I'm sure no one cares but <laughs> that's just a little a little aside um, for you so I'm just gonna dip the brush in water wring it out a little and let's get in here Really excited to try this. I don't know much about these guys. Um, I know I've been wanting to try this for a long time, and you know I was not buying any soaps for a while, so I, now I finally caved in. It's very creamy, nice and pasty so far. Really easy to load. Scent is, I mean, right up my alley. It's great. Looks nice and creamy. Let's see what this is about. I know this is a tweaked version of the of the previous previous base from Sapon de Paolo. Um, it is a tallow base. Mm, smells awesome. Not too acidic smelling, 
um, not sweet smelling, just beautiful. Now let's see how it performs. We've got some other scents that look pretty good too. One especially is like um, there's a lime and basil. Um, I'd really like to try that out. You know, basil kind of has that anise scent to it, um, which I imagine goes really well with the lime. So, if I like this base, that may be my next one to try. So far, so good. Get some extra water in here. Straight razor shaving, so I want it as much water as I can get in here. Water equals slickness. And I want this to be as slick as I can get it. Maybe just a little more water. Hope everyone's having a great Friday out there. This is my day off. I'm back into the hospital for the weekend. So I'm enjoying a day off shave. managed to get some of that in my mouth and uh, very very neutral tasting um, well, preliminary I'll give that about a five on the tasteometer it's not like overly bitter on my tongue I know I should probably keep the soap out of my mouth but seems like I get it in there every time anyway oh well it keeps my tongue clean All right, Alexander Birmingham, a Piff special. Let's see how she performs. Actually, I'm gonna get my sideburn line. Then we'll get a little stretch going. Frank, you make a smooth edge. Seriously, this guy is awesome. If you, you know, if you don't like honing blades yourself, um, please give him a try. Frank at Strike Gold Shave just does a fantastic job. Really quick service as well. Boy, residual slickness is really nice. I'll need to Allen block my fingers in order to get the stretch. Boy, that edge is like butter. I don't normally shave with butter, but if I felt this good, I'd do it all the time. I keep trying to work on this shaving angle. Those of you that 
have watched any, any of the stuff on my channel know that I'm still, you know, basically a beginner. When it comes to straight razor shaving. Very nice. I'll switch hands for the other side. And look at that angle for my sideburns. I don't like to stretch first uh, because invariably if I don't stretch it just right then I'm going to end up with a messed up sideburn. So I usually try to get the initial line and then I stretch after that. This edge just absolutely peels this hair off. Very, very happy with his work again. Speaking of lemon scents, I'm waiting for Strike Gold Shades Limoncello scent to come out this year. Really want to try that. Really nice up there. Really pillowy, really slick. Very happy with it so far. Clean up and we'll go another pass. If you like what you see please like and subscribe if you have any comments for me please leave them down below very nice first bass Across the green. I got myself one little spot right there. Oh well. And then swap hands. Just kind of follow that sideburn. Puff some air into the cheek. Good. 
a little touch more water. stretch no pressure just glide the blade up your skin and try not to dig You can see I've got one hand down here just stretching down, trying to really tighten that skin. Switch hands, switch sides. It's like I got myself in the same, basically the same spot on each side. A little touch lower there. And I'm going to stop right there before I hurt myself. Very nice shave, I'm very impressed with the performance of that 11 shaving soap. Also highly impressed with the honing job, again, from Frank. that pillowing and dense and it's exactly what you're looking for very nice quality soap very happy with that I'd say that will not be the only soap that I will buy from them I 
finish cleaning my brush out with this alum does its job. Give it a little fling. Just a little light rub. And I'll get this alum off. Very nice. All right, let's keep that lemon theme going. Man, this stuff is beautiful too. So refreshing and then with that nice kiss of menthol just a perfect combination for me and I'm just sitting around the house today but I want to keep this lemon theme going a little bit longer so Dior Eau Sauvage decant from the fragrance decant boutique Ooh, that's beautiful it's like lemon, rosemary, I think there's some caraway in there. Um, really, really beautiful scent. So if you haven't tried that out, it's been around for a long time. Try it out. It's, it's still a super, super beautiful scent. Thank you guys for joining me. Happy Friday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Hope everyone is safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.